Hi, Hiram here. Today I want to do a little video on some ideas that I have for outfitting my Stanley Cup cook set. I thought I'd just show you this and see what you think. Basically what I've done is put it in a Condor ACU H2O pouch. This is one of two of them that I had on my or yeah, had on my uh, side pack. I'll show you a picture here with this one already taken off. I have another one on there. I was using, thinking of using this for the Swiss volcano stove, but it just doesn't fit in there. So I've been thinking of other things to do with it. Uh, this isn't fully outfitted. It's just to play with it and see what happens. Nice pouch. Uh, <clears throat> I have the strap from Paracord Guy on it. This is a beautiful cord made out of Paracord. So you always have tons of rope with you if you need it. Just a magazine pouch on the side playing with that for an idea for carrying fuel. It has the straps on it so that you can strap more equipment to it. Uh, in the front here, I have that Sea to Summit bowl that I like. Cool thing. As it sits here right now, this weighs a little less than a pound. But it's, like I said, it's not really outfitted completely. This is just an idea. So what I have in it is the Stanley pot set. Just the pot set. I took the cups out because I don't really like them. Don't have anything much in here except another little plastic cup that I put in. This will fit in there. And this gives me tons of room to do things with. Store food in here or whatever. I haven't figured out yet. A little wiping cloth. Inside that is my uh, stainless steel cup. No handles on this one. That fits in there real nice and neat. Also, the lid to the Stanley pot fits right on this. So this gives me two cups, two pots to work with for very little weight. Uh, my Sea to Summit titanium spoon, mainly because it fits in here, real nice long handle, doesn't weigh anything. Then in the bottom of this, now the last time, this is my burner. The last time I, or the first time I tested this, it was with my coddle stove with an eye caps in it, and we got some times on that. I think, yeah, two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 51 seconds. What I'd really like to use is a Trangia burner in here, but I don't have a pot stand that'll hold this pot. This is too narrow. It tapers down and stuff. I have another, uh, like a mini Trangia burner coming that I'm going to be able to modify to use this with. But for the time being, what I have in here, this is the bottom, in the bottom of the pouch, sealed off so that I can carry some burners in it. A little bit of alcohol, the uh, S-bit burner, in case I needed it. Not sure what to do with that. But today I thought I'd use this, or test with this Vargo Triad Titanium Stove, and see how this works with this. Again, it's not the best fit. Now this will set better when it's got water in it. The handle's a little top heavy, so it pulls it over. So, I have one fluid ounce of methanol here. Let's put that in the burner. Oops. Now this is, this Vargo Triad has always been what I think is a hard burner to, to work with. It's one of those that looks real neat. Oops, come on. Not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Maybe this will help though. I've got alcohol out on the concrete board here. So that'll just help the, the burner work faster. Anyway, in my mind this is a stove that looks neat. 
but never really performed like I hoped it would. I'm just trying it on this just to see what the combination will do. Okay, I've got two cups of water here. Put it in the pot. <clears throat> Put in the temperature probe. Here's the lid. Okay, so a little less than a fluid ounce of alcohol in here. Let's just burn this. See if this will get it started. I must say I really did have high hopes for this burner, but eh. Okay, so there the uh, jets are going. Yep. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 1025. Okay, I was surprised that made it. So there we had two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil of 212 in 10 minutes and 25 seconds. When I used the uh, coddle stove, turn the light back on. When I used the coddle stove with the eye cap in it, uh, two cups of water at 61 degrees came to a boil in five minutes and 15 seconds. So, I don't know. Just doesn't like this Bargo Triad. Oh, one other thing I forgot. In my last video that I did on this Stanley uh, Camp Cook set, I gave people the wrong impression that I hate or that there's something wrong with stainless steel. It's not so much that there's something wrong or that I hate it. It's just that stainless steel doesn't transfer the heat as readily as, say, an aluminum pot does. Aluminum transfers heat much faster than stainless steel. But then this is a whole lot more durable than an aluminum pot. You can see it's getting bent and stuff just from my playing with it. So it's not so much it's not that I hate stainless steel, it's just the transfer rate. Okay. So that's the Stanley Camp Cook Pot lid using the Vargo. I guess that's not a good idea. Like I said, I do have another pot stand coming. It's kind of like the miniature Trangia pot stand. But in that one, it has very, the or mini has very skinny legs on it. And this pot just won't fit on there. The one I'm getting has wider legs. So I can uh, put grooves in it and use wires to hold up the pot and see what that does. Okay, what else? So I was thinking about something while I was playing with this. It's possible I was just thinking that oh, maybe not. This is nylon on the inside. I was wondering if you could use this as a cozy but I don't think so. That is nylon in there. But I don't know. I like it. It's a nice bag. I love the strap. Like I said, I'll put links to where these are. This is from the Paracord Guy, paracordguy.com. And this is a uh, Condor, isn't it? I believe. I think this was a Condor uh, H2O pouch. This is just a magazine pouch here. That's nothing. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Though you've been a good friend, and 
Dancing the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end